Hi guys, uh, welcome to Exercise Physiology screencast on um, obesity and particularly looking at kind of uh, metabolic equivalent tasks. Um, so how what how much energy does each activity that you take part in cost in terms of calories? And then we're also going to have a look at our basal metabolic rate, which is the kind of lowest rate of energy expenditure that we can live on. Okay, and we're going to have a look at combining those two um, alongside your kind of diet in tomorrow's lesson. So, key focus then, what I need to make you to make notes on, I've got to be quick on the screencast, um, so basically a MET or metabolic equivalent task, key thing you need to say, that needs to be in your questions, it's a way of expressing energy cost, it also estimates the energy cost activity by the amount of oxygen consumed, one MET, is equal to a specific calorific amount, so 0.0175. This is going to be really important, this figure, okay, because that basically met, that kind of equals that 0.0175. Basically, you're going to use that met value a lot because, because the met value of 1 is 0.175. Then what you have to do is you have to times it by a weight in kilogram and then times it by the time in minutes of the activity that you're doing in order to get the metabolic equivalent task value okay so that is a kind of figure that I need you to have get that into your questions okay so that you know you might have a question that says uh, describe the equation for metabolic equivalent task values okay so that would be something you could look at going on from there then how can knowledge of METs help? Well, I look at this and say, right, basically, kind of, if you have a low intensity MET value, so walking, okay, that is not going to give you very much in terms of kind of energy expenditure, energy cost. You're not going to get much from it. So walking is two METs. We'll have a look at some of the activities that you'll be more kind of used to in tomorrow's lesson. Uh, anything that's high intensity, okay, the number of METs will increase, okay? So if you're running, uh, you know, kind of, I don't know, 12, 14, 15 kilometers an hour on a treadmill for 20 minutes, your METs are going to be much higher than you are if you walk it, obviously. What the athlete can do then is they can calculate the overall energy cost of a training session by doing the minutes uh, equation that we looked at, okay, and then they can have a look at kind of, um, in order to kind of really work this out, we can kind of, we have to know this basal metabolic rate, the BMR. So basically a uh, performer once they know their kind of met values and then they also know their bmr they can then adjust their diet according to the number of calories burned so going on to your last thing then okay what is basal metabolic rate so it's the lowest rate of energy expenditure needed to sustain bodies uh, kind of daily functions physiological functions how would you calculate your basal metabolic weight you can do this yourself at home if you want you have to do it in pounds the equation i've got is pounds i can also maybe give you one for kilograms tomorrow but just to make it easy for today weight in kilograms you times that by 2.2 and that gives you your pounds value so then you do your pounds value um times 10 and then plus body weight times two for in pounds again for males and that kcal is what is used per day to kind of do your kind of daily physiological functions now i've got mine here um 2640 so for me to survive i need to eat 2640 calories that's not a great thing i don't think but anyway that's it female weight in pounds exactly the same instead of body weight times two it's body weight times on its own okay and that's the k calories you use today get your basal metabolic rate sorted Get your kind of daily diet plan sorted and try and get um, an understanding of how we're going to work out this metabolic equivalent tasks on this slide. Thank you.